Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is set to make a stop in Charleston Wednesday, where she's expected to officially announce her run for president in 2024. She'll then face a battle for the Republican nomination against former President Donald Trump and other candidates who will likely enter the race for president leading up to 2024. The campaign will be based in Charleston and will be run by longtime aides, retired Pennsylvania Senator Pat Toomey. In 2011, Haley became the first woman and person of color to be elected as South Carolina's governor. Well, around 300,000 South Carolinians could lose their Medicaid coverage in about the next year, and that's because on a starting April 1st, South Carolina will begin reviewing who's eligible for Medicaid for the first time in three years. Mary Green explains why. Before the pandemic, the state reviewed Medicaid eligibility annually to determine who still qualifies. But for the last three years, people could be added to Medicaid, but generally not removed because of the federal COVID public health emergency. But that's coming to an end and starting April 1st, states can again begin unenrolling people. For our Medicaid members who have um, been enrolled in Medicaid for, for a while, this is um, going back to the process that existed in 2019 and before, um, but we have a lot of members who um, have joined uh, Medicaid have been become enrolled in Medicaid for the first time during that period. So that will be a bit of a new process. South Carolina's Department of Health and Human Services, which oversees the state's Medicaid program, will take a full year to carry it out. It estimates Medicaid enrollment will drop from about 1.3 million South Carolinians to just over a million where it was before the pandemic. There shouldn't be many who are currently under 19 who are losing coverage. Health and Human Services says a lot of the South Carolinians who will be unenrolled are those who previously qualified as children because their family's income was below a certain level. Now they're adults and have aged out of that coverage, but have remained on it the last three years because federal law prohibited removing them. That's exactly where a lot of this will come from. Starting April 1st, the state will mail out review forms to everyone currently on Medicaid. They have 60 days after that point to fill out the form. If somebody receives the the annual review form and doesn't return it within 60 days, they'll likely lose their coverage. That's what's concerning to Healthy Learners, a nonprofit that works in more than a dozen counties across the state. We provide um, low income children with access to uh, dental care, uh, vision care, asthma, behavioral health, mental health hearing issues. Most of the children they serve are on Medicaid, so if they lose coverage, it could affect how much care Healthy Learners is able to provide other kids who aren't Medicaid eligible but are uninsured. We will probably do some uh, mass mailings to all of our families to make sure that um, they have filled out the paperwork, that they have that continuation of coverage um, so that they can get the care that, that they need and we can minimize our cost on out-of-pocket medical fees. If the state is able to determine on its own that someone is still eligible for Medicaid, those people will receive a continuation of benefits notice in the mail, so they won't need to fill out the review form.